Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to just start off with another nail video. First thing I'm doing, I'm taking some nail polish remover and I'm just removing any excess nail polish off my nails and taking my handy dandy cuticle kit from Dollar Tree and removing any cuticles that may be on my nails. After we remove any cuticles off of our nails, we're just going to be taking our uh, nail tips and matching them up to our fingers. The ones that I choose are the Empress Curve Nails. I don't remember which brand, but I just picked it up at my beauty supply store for $3.50. And just some handy old crazy glue to glue them on and a pair of cuticle scissors to cut them down to my desired length. Once you cut them down to the desired length, what you want to do next is to just file the nail tips to make sure that they're the shape that you want them. I was sticking with square, so basically I was just filing the edges, making them nice and clean cut. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to file my actual nail beds just to make them a little bit more gritty and to make a surface that the acrylic can really stick onto. Once I'm finished filing and dusting off my nails, I'm just going to take my nail dehydrator from Mia Secret and applying that straight to the nail bed just to make it nice and dry. Then I'm going to be taking my Mia Secret uh, No Burn Primer and priming the nail beds as well. Once the nails are nice and primed, you're ready to grab your acrylic and I'm using the Super Nail Acrylic Powder and Liquid Monomer, just grabbing my dampened dish and my acrylic Kalinske brush in the size 10 and we're ready to start. So the acrylic beads that I'm making are a medium size just because I only want to use about two to three beads per nail. I don't want to add too much acrylic and make them too chunky. And as usual I'm starting in the center of the nail and working my way to the cuticle pressing out the, acry pressing out the acrylic until it reaches the cuticle without touching it.
So I'm touching up as I go, smoothing everything out. When I'm taking my acrylic liquid, I'm actually wiping the brush off on the side of the dampen dish just to make sure that I don't grab too much. And of course, every time I lay the acrylic on my nail, I actually just wipe the excess off on my rag. So now what I'm doing, I'm just filing my nails back to the shape that I want them to be, making them look nice and clean, getting the cuticles, the sides, and all of the edges just to make it nice and clean cut before I go in with my e-file. The first drill bit that I'm taking is small and curved and it's really good for really getting into those cuticles and making sure there's no acrylic touching the actual skin. This next drill bit is a medium size and it's really good for getting into those lines and really starting to smooth out the nail. Now I'm taking a drill bit with a bit of a bigger grit and I really like using this one towards the end because I find that it makes a huge difference. It actually makes the nails a lot smoother than if I were to do it in a different order. And yeah, this one actually like takes out all of the fine lines and it's just really good all around for making my nails perfectly smooth for applying polish. I did also take the really big sandpaper grit uh, drill bit just to give my nails a final buff but that footage, footage was actually cut. And now next what I'm taking is my Sally Hansen gel like top coat and I'm using this as a base coat. I just find that it really settles into the cracks and smooths out the nail before I apply the actual nail polish and it just makes for a great base and it really makes my nail polish come out a whole lot smoother, cleaner, just it looks much better. So I forget the name of this actual nail polish, but it is another gel-like nail polish from Sally Hansen. I got it at Target on clearance for $2, I believe, so it's a really pretty peachy baby pink color. And I think it's really good for summer. I did do these nails towards the middle of the summer. I know summer is ending, but this is a really cute color choice for any time, basically. And I really love pink, so.
So normally after I apply my second coat of nail polish, I would reapply the top coat on top of it. But as I stated, I am missing some footage. That footage is actually lost. So I will show a mini clip of the final look when I'm finished. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. All right, thank you.